What's going on, Internet? Zyjix here, coming at you with another Mega Man Battle Network 6 video. Last time, we needed, uh, we, uh, had to witness Iris, uh, get, well, pretty much kidnapped or abducted, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we need to get to the, uh, BBS here in Underneck to, uh, find some information to her whereabouts. Anyhow. Actually, I don't need that. That's dumb. Um, so anyhow, and then there's a bunch of these stupid navvies. I just want to stand right in my way. Whoops. Oh, you think you're so cute. Oh, what do you know? I can't hit you. Eh? Alright, that guy's dead. You're dead. So, Charge Cross is only gonna... He's only gonna charge uh, up till the closest enemy there. Whenever he hits first. Um... I think we're, no, we're not going the right way. We gotta go this way. Holy freaking crap. Alright. We're back! It's a BBS, and holy crap, we can actually read it now. There's a new post. Um. Yeah, there's the aquarium accident. What to do? Um, don't. Who, where? Seems like someone stopped the disturbance before it spread it out from the aquarium. I hear it was like a little elementary school kid. I gotta go all the way up. Ooh la. Well, okay, that could be dangerous. Um, our, beli our beloved Psybeasts have been revived. The world is now the pathway to ruin and destruction. The world of, fool the world of fools will soon fall to the Psybeasts. No. Don't read that again. That's a good way to, um, good way to, uh, lose control. What did I just say? All right. Real criminal. Nope. Gotta go all the way up. Crime preview. I wonder if this post refers to warning, but, but what was it called? The one where they, that warned of the warned us of the crime. Uh, I installed the Navicus program called Shield. There is no one who can face me now. No matter what comes my way, I can block it by pressing left and control L and and the control pad and the B button. And another uh, program uh, compression. Um, yeah, whoop de doo I don't care. World 3 people. All right, it seems that World 3 is behind a disturbance at Cyber Academy. Now they're at the Sky Town Admin Building. I don't know what they're after, but it made me sick. Sky Town. Well, I just happened to be there because guess where I let jacked in? It's the closest place to a uh, freaking undernet. The Admin Building. Yonder. Hey, I found him! Hee <laughs> hee! Iris was right. Isn't she cute, Beryl? I don't know how you, you know each other, but you don't look like the, the invincible Beryl now. Iris. Yeah, don't worry, Beryl. She's just ta taking a nap. You know, like a sleeping beauty. Never thought I'd see the day that you're so helpless. Until now, you've been pretty snobby ordering us around. I hate it when people tell me what to do. Don't think, well, don't think ill of this, Beryl. I had to th think things through many times, but in the end, I chose to go with them. No offense, but we let you back to... Uh, <clears throat> we let you go back to Dr. Wiley and then tell him that we're... I mean, and then you tell him that we're coming for our precious Psybees. You guys, throw Beryl into the sea. Wait! Let Iris and Beryl go. Then, Ikari... And she really, lo she really loves her Snickers. What a persistent little brat. Stop where you are. Don't take another step. Get any closer and your girlfriend goes bye-bye into the sea. And the sea here is real famous for its high tides. I wonder what'll happen if she fell... Whoa. Wind just scared the crap out of me. wonder what would happen if she... If would, I wonder what would happen to her if she fell in. You get the picture, don't you? What are you waiting for? Hurry up and throw a barrel in. All right. I got it. Don't dirty. I, I don't dirty my hands in this sort of thing usually. Stop! Someone, please help Beryl! You're so silly. No one's around. No one's going to come help you this time. Sometimes someone does come. Oomph! Hey, it's Mr. Mock. You still treat me like a teacher. It's the traitor! What do you want? Traitor? Which one of us is the real traitor? And what's this? There's only three of you? 
I guess failures are destined to continue to fail. You, you want annoying loudmouth popping up from nowhere? I'll throw you into the ocean along with, uh, with Barrel. You've, you've already forgotten? I was always the strongest out of all of us. Yuika, hand Barrel and the girl over near me now. I don't want anything bad to happen to that girl. Ugh, I'll remember this. And that's the second time she said she's going to remember something. And I'm sure those two over there will too. Mr. Mock! Mr. Mock, huh? I'm still glad you think of me as, as a teacher. But Lan, I don't deserve to be treated like that. As long as I'm a member of World 3, I'm just a horrible man who tricks his students. But you're not really evil in your heart. I think I sort of understand. You have a reason, so that's why you're doing this, right? My daughter was born with a bad illness, and she needed a very big operation or she would die. But that operation was very expensive, so we didn't do it. Just as the illness seemed to be subsiding, she suddenly fell very ill again and needed the operation. Around that time, a man came and paid for the operation. That man was Dr. Wiley. <clears throat> so you... <clears throat> he made you join World 3 for the operation? Yes. And while I was a teacher at Cyber Academy, I spied on Kane and reported everything to Wiley. Where are Kane? Kane and Dr. Wiley were working together. You knew that, didn't you? So I was spying on Kane because he couldn't be trusted. On your first day of school, that incident with Blastman, that was because I was trying to hack Kane's computer. But I failed because I, you stopped Blastman. But now that I think about it, maybe it was a good thing. If you hadn't defeated Blastman then, all my beloved students could have lost their lives. Anyway, no reason no, no reason can erase all the things I've done. Why don't you and Beryl join join me uh, and fight Dr. Wiley? It's not too late. I'm sorry, I can't join you. What World 3 did is the only reason I, I she is alive now. World 3 is a criminal organization, yes. But to me, it is my daughter's savior. And I have to think about Beryl. Beryl? How do you know about how do you know Barrel, Mr. Mock? When I was a college student, I stayed in Natopia for a while to learn karate. I was looking for strong people to fight, and I found Natopia team captain. And I fought him one on one, and I thought I, I was great being my college champion. But I was beaten. And I was so it was so embarrassing. That person, yes, that was Barrel. After that fight, I asked him for a favor. I asked him to train under him for a whole year. But I didn't want to learn only about how to fight. I wanted to learn how to have faith in myself and in life. That's what I really wanted to learn, and he took me in. We're closing. We're closing in. Oh my God! Holy. Yeah, great. This is getting way too long. Take care, my beloved student. And then Mr. Mock and Barrel left. Maybe if I were a little older, I could have done something. But as a kid, all I could do was say goodbye. After Mr. Mock and Barrel left, I brought Iris back to school. I had to get back fast or make her tab would be worried. Yay, everything's happy again. Ah, Len! I'm so glad you made it back safe! We're so worried about you! Sorry to make you worry. Mick, tab. I was worried about Iris. I wasn't worried about you at all. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's not what your face says. Shut the hell up. Naughty words there, Mick. Thanks for saving us that time, Iris. If you hadn't come, I don't know what would have happened. And that was neat how you repelled the punishment robots with just one word. Did you repel the robots? Yeah, let's go home, okay? I'm mad hungry. I'm hangry! Yeah, me too. It's about time to go home. Lan. Uh, yeah? Oh, okay. You're, you're not talking to me. And Lan and Iris became lovers from then on. Want to go home with us, Iris? You know, Netflix and chill? I have something to do. I have to go mash freaking Yuika's face into a bloody pulp. And then rip her spine out. Um, didn't need to know that, Iris. Just who or what are you? Um, it's complicated. I don't take it the wrong way. I'm not trying to pry. I thought a lot about you. Like, I just don't know anything about you. You're super hot! <laughs> you don't have to answer if you don't want to. But we're friends, right? Yes, friends. God dang it! Freaking lands in the friend zone. 
What you... If you tell me what's wrong, then I think I could help you out a little. I mean, isn't it hard to do everything by yourself? Thank you, Nan. Mm, mm, erst. What? What do you say? Nothing. Thank you. You're the first person to call me friend. God dang it, he's still in the friend zone. Iris. Hey, Nan! What are you doing? I'm gonna ditch you! Well, fine. Ditch me then, Mick. Who cares about you? Fine, I'll be right there. Well, I gotta get going. If you ever want to talk, just let me know. And if you ever want to go to Netflix and chill, you know, or change your mind about me being in the friend zone, then, if you keep it up, I will choke the life out of you. I am not attracted. God, oh, man. Oh, oh, just shut down, man. Shut down. All right, see ya. <clears throat> okay, I'm, um, I guess we're following Mick now. We gotta take the walk. Freaking bewilderment. Where, where the hell is he? Where the hell is he? Oh, there they are. But I wonder if it'll really be alright. What are you talking about? The Expo! Expo! You know, I repeat things for emphasis. EMPHASIS! Totally ripping off Josh from Drake and Josh, man. <laughs> With the World 3 causing all these incidents lately, I wonder if the Expo will still be held. I'm really worried. Yeah, all the adults talk about lately is, uh, is how uneasy they are and how dangerous everything is and how freaking the government should stay out of our schools and... It, uh, that's not what he was talking about, Mick. It sounds more like World 3 is trying to stop the Expo. Everyone, your attention, please! You were saying? Hey, it's a... Parade of four navvies. The Expo will be held as scheduled! There are great dangers! But we will not be scared. Citizens, let's come together and make the Expo a success! If we band together, we can scare those who want to hurt us. Let's all work hard together. They're copy bots. Yeah, no, no way. Oh shit, Sherlock. You're gonna open the expo as planned. Aren't you happy, Tab? Yeah. Aren't you, Lan? Uh, yeah. What's with you? You don't sound so happy. Uh, I'm, I am inside. I just don't know how to process it. You with your feelings, Lan. I'm happy, but will it really be safe? The incidents lately have been pretty bad. And Mega Man and I, we're a part of it all. But I'm glad what happened isn't going to stop the expo. Hey, stop making that droopy face. You know, I mean, freaking me out. Yeah, you were involved, but you stopped the bad guys. So you should be able to find a way to help the expo. Yeah, Lan, there's nothing I, you can't do. Um, I can't conjure, uh, things out of thin air. Touché, Lan. Thanks, you two. Ah, it's time to stock shelves. I have to go home. Yeah, I've got to get home, too. Later. Well, we better go head home, too. Time to go to freaking bed and another cutscene. Oh, my God. I'm home! Hmm, Mom's out shopping. Note, I guess you did you go shopping. Lan, I have left your father. You are going to have to do your own fucking cooking now. Email from who? Um, the expo ex executive. Th th uh, the expo. Read it! Read it! Okay, here we go. Dear Mr. Lanhakar, we of the expo can expo. Blah, blah, blah. I'd like to inv invite you to the Preview Gala. You have been selected among the citizens of Cyber City to attend this one. I want to light up invited. Blah, 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 blah. You may bring anyone interested, uh, any interested friends with you. And the actual site experience this exciting event. That's what it says. Huh. Preview Gala. It's an exclusive event where the special guests will get to see the expo before it opens. You may get to see the... Yes! Yes, Lan. Holy crap. You really need to have it explained to you. Oh, time something good happened. But it seems so sudden. Don't you think it's kind of suspicious? No. No, I don't. You think so? You're probably right. So who are you going to invite? 
Mick, Tab, Iris, and everyone from ACDC. And Chad, too. As much as I freaking hate him! Just wanna rub it in his smug little face. Yeah, look at me. Look at me, Chad. I'm a celebrity, and you're not. I make a freaking cry. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a nap until mom gets back. Plan, homework, nap first. That night. Hey, shut up out there! Did you hear something? It sounded like a large animal. Maybe it's the other side beast. Animal? What do you mumble out? This is the real world. You're hearing in your, in your sleep. <laughs> Maybe my ears are playing tricks on me. The next day after school. School's finally over! Yeah, let's go invite Mick and go to the freaking expo already. Oh, where are they? Okay, they're... Hi, Mick. Okay, um... Where is Tab? Can't go that way. Hmm. Well, he's definitely not that way. Duh! Um... Do I know you? Where the frick is Tab? Oh, Iris! Hey, babe! Iris, it's nice to see you. You're inviting me to the expo, too? Yeah, it's gonna be great. Let's go together. We're meeting at blah blah blah. See, he, he said it, not me. I'm not, see? He, I'm not paraphrasing. Got it? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna totally score! Ugh, oh, Tab, where are you? Tab, wanna go to the expo? You, you great? Yeah, great. Yes, great. Let's go. And with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Down below. No, not that way. Down below. But anyhow, yeah, thank you very much for watching. God bless you all. See you in the next one.